The Amber Heard trial was something I was honestly rather iffy about talking about. I felt like the whole situation was really oversaturated and that pretty much everybody was, no, was in the commentary space was talking about it. So I just wanted to leave it alone. But there's been an influx of people defending Amber Heard, sort of a pushback from all the support that he's getting. And so we're going to be taking a look first off at an article from The Guardian, and then we're going to take a look at some tweets. So without further ado, so The Observer put out a tweet that says, hashtag me too is over if we don't listen to imperfect victims like Amber Heard, Martha Gill. So I'm going to read the beginning of the article and sort of skip down just so that you get the picture of what they're talking about. I will link the article so that you know that I'm not taking this out of context and that you can get your own understanding. I highly encourage you to read it because I think it's pretty interesting, which is why I'm talking about it. So let's get right into it. It says the backlash to the Me Too movement was always coming. We know this because a backlash has followed every single step forward feminists have ever made. This backlash was always going to be big too. Not only did Me Too threaten a status quo that props up powerful men, it threatened these men personally and as it seemed with reckless caprice. So, I said that word right. Anyway, you know, this first paragraph isn't too bad, you know. There has been a form of pushback to pretty much every, you know, pro-woman move, whether it be the 19th Amendment or abortion rights and things of that nature. There's, there's always going to be backlash from different types of people but trust me it gets a lot worse the public reaction to the johnny depp and amber heard trial is what a hashtag me too backlash looks like here are the facts of the case depp is suing heard for defamation after she described herself in a 2018 article that didn't mention him as a public figure representing domestic abuse depp says he is innocent of abuse and her statement amounts to lying on his side are two facts that seem clear. Heard promised to donate her entire divorce settlement to charity and didn't. There is a recording in which she admits to hitting Johnny. So, right off the bat, obviously, the way the article is worded is to make it seem like Johnny is a bad guy. Take a look at how it says uh, the article that didn't mention him trying to make it seem like, oh, it had nothing to do with him. I don't know why he was talking about it. He knows who she's talking about because she had already accused him at that point. This is 2018. She originally accused him in 2016. All right. And she's just picking that specific example. He's not doing that just because, oh, I just want to want to stop her from saying these things like this is a culmination and you just pick this specific example on her side is the following evidence that's a, an important word Depp admits to headbutting his wife by accident and there are texts from his assistant alleging he kicked her there are texts from Depp to Paul Bettany saying that he wanted to I'm not even going to read that out uh, there are is a recording of Depp shouting at her for speaking in an authoritative way to him. She was awarded a domestic violence restraining order in 2016. In 2018, Depp sued the Sun newspaper for libel after it called him a wife beater. He lost the case after the judge found 12 of 14 alleged incidents of Depp's abuse of her to be true. Alright, so let's start off with the uh, first little bit of evidence, right? So evidence quote unquote he, he admits to headbutting his wife on accident so how is that evidence for her her cause that he's abusive it was an accident that doesn't make any sense if you if you get up to go to the bathroom one night and you have a sleep and you bump into some something does does that mean you were trying to destroy it should you be you know sued for property damage I don't think so. I mean, uh, the law is different in that scenario, but I'm, ju I'm just talking about what's going on here. Uh, there are texts from his assistant alleging he kicked her. So it's an allegation, so it's not evidence. I mean, all it is is just like testimony, I guess you'd say. I don't, I, I'd see how it could be used as evidence. Like, 
that hey there was talks about him being potentially abusive but for the most part it doesn't seem like he actually was abused i don't even that's weird okay and the text from depp to paul bettany yeah that's that's bad all right i'm not gonna even try to be like oh well you know yeah that's bad uh and then the recording of Depp shouting at Heard in an authoritative way. I mean, that might have just been like him snapping. I could see how the text would be him snapping, but still, you don't say something like that. Like, still, the yelling at her for being authoritative, I don't think you should yell at anybody, but still, I mean, she's probably beating him at that point. I Actually, I don't know. I don't know, so I'm not even going to say that. I retract that. But, uh, yeah, so he lost the case. I'm not fully informed on that, so I'm not even going to speak on that. Uh, but from what I've heard, it just wasn't a good case. And there's no evidence still to this day of Johnny abusing his wife. So, yeah. The court will decide whether or not Heard is a liar. But the idea that Heard is a manipulator, a fanaticist, and an abuser herself has caught fire across all social media and some more traditional outlets. Every sexist trope ever used to humiliate and discredit female accusers has been deployed against her at vast scale. Reenacting her testimony of assault and abuse has become a game on TikTok. She has been mocked by Saturday Night Live and by Chris Rock, believe all women except Amber Heard and NSYNC's Lace Bass. So they are reason behind all this there's a reason amber heard is being demonized it's because she's been doing these bad things and she's been caught on tape saying oh i i didn't hit you i, I didn't punch you I, I didn't deck you i hit you I, I i said i didn't hit you that was a misspeak on my part but uh yeah and she's been heard saying that like that's a recording that's 100 percent her voice she doesn't even dispute that that's not her voice I don't even know what's going on now. Every sexist trope ever used to humiliate and discredit female accusers has been employed, employed against her in vast scale. Um, so I didn't know that reenacting testimonies as a game on TikTok was a sexist trope. That was really weird. Um, the fact that she's getting made fun of doesn't mean that it's discrediting male of accuser of female accusers or male abusers what discredits both of those is uh her doing this allegation and doing it on such a large scale i mean this happened what like seven eight years ago i want to say at this point like yeah something like that and we're still talking about it because that no, was like six years ago six years uh, but we're still talking about it because it's such a big thing because it's famous people going through this insane thing and it's just wild to me i i don't even know what this article is thinking that this is caused by like inherent misogyny or something no this is caused by amber heard being a bad person okay that's all this is at the end of the day this is amber heard being a bad person doing some bad things and getting finally caught and called out okay Heard's tormentors, many of them young women, do not seem to see themselves as anti-feminists. They believe women, of course, just not this one. It is not they who are damaging and hashtag me too. It is heard by virtue of being an imperfect victim. So let's talk about this for a second. It's just like I said, right? Amber Heard is the one who's damaging me too. Okay, now this will be a quicker segment because I'm going to transition to the next bit of the article and then I'm gonna finish up but it's this is Amber Heard who's leading to more women being scrutinized farther right because of what's happened in this case people will be like oh well remember the Amber Heard case I don't know if I want to want to believe this as readily and I want to take my time and think about this which is a good thing I won't act like it isn't But still, it'll also lead to less women being believed and less allegations being taken seriously, which is a net negative no matter any which way you look at it. 
So now we've got the last little bit of the article that I'm going to read. It says, They perhaps forget that the project of hashtag me too, the whole point was to help imperfect victims. Those who were wearing the right thing, wrong thing, who were drunk, who were promiscuous, who loved their perpetrator or had per previously broken the law who, or had lied before or had a bad character seemed a little bit nutty and a little bit... I don't know if I can read that, that word out loud. YouTube rules are... Okay, never mind. Just don't know the rules completely. As David Brock once memorably described Anita Hill, who testified against Clarice Thomason, Thomas's U.S. Supreme Court confirmation hearings in 1991. In fact, perfect victims have never needed feminism, partly because they barely exist. They don't exist. Nobody's perfect. Okay, so there's a huge issue with this paragraph right here, all right? Because if, if we're talking about, you know, a woman who was a victim of Johnny Depp and was speaking out, then I have no problem with this. This is great, right? And, and she, like, broke the law or lied about something, but it's proven that she was right about Johnny Depp, then I would applaud this. I'd be like, yes, this is perfect. This is completely right. But it's not, okay? I have seen zero evidence that Amber Heard was a victim and not the perpetrator from what everything that I have seen. Now, this is all alleged, and I do not know. I wanna stress that, I do not know. But from everything that I have seen, it seems like Amber has been the perpetrator more often than not. And so that's what it seems like to me. It doesn't seem like she's an imperfect victim where people are like, oh, she should have been wearing that or she shouldn't have been drunk and going here and doing this, you know, victim blaming. People aren't doing that. People are calling her the perpetrator because of that audio that I brought up earlier. That's what's going on, okay? People aren't calling her a victim. No one's calling her a victim except for you and the writer of this article, which I just want to say, like, the writer of this article, like, I don't think she's, like, a bad person. He, she, they, I don't know. I don't know who they are exactly. But do want to say like i disagree with the points they're making not them as a person i don't think the person writing this is an inherently bad person i just think they're wrong and i disagree with them completely and i think they would disagree with me and there's nothing wrong with that but what is wrong is defending somebody who has seemed to be a bad person and all the evidence is pointing towards them being a bad person so we're going to move into the tweet section because that is the last part of the article I want to look at. Again, I will link it. If you want to see it, then feel free. If you think I missed something important, let me know. I'll put it in the pinned comment so that anybody will see. All right. We've got a tweet from Sunny Willow that uh, I wanted to preface off what we're going to look at on Twitter by saying... I think it's safe to assume that all these accounts with hashtag I stand with Amber Heard, which was the hashtag that was trending, and have their replies turned off are Amber Heard's PR's team hard at work. Now, I'm not a big peddler of conspiracy theories. I think that conspiracy theories are silly, and if you are a peddler of them, then I don't listen to you because what are, what are you talking about? But I'm just throwing it out there as a theory, all right? I don't don't want to say I endorse this theory. I don't want to say I agree with it, but it is a theory. Nom de plume. I'm hoping I'm saying that wrong. I'm right. Jeez. Oh, this tweet is wrong. I hope I'm saying their name right. It just sounds like a cool name. Anyway, she doesn't act like a victim. Does he? Depp is constantly smirking and making jokes in court and being disrespectful towards Amber's team. Yet you're willing to believe him a victim? He's a victim is what should be there, but I'm not the grammar police. But when people have grammatical errors, it throws me off. Anyway, the truth is a woman is a perfect victim only when she is dead. Hashtag I stand with Amber Heard. Okay, people deal with trauma different. different. We all know this. Maybe that's just his way of working through it. How could... How could you sit from home, an armchair therapist, a guy from across the world, probably, right? Like, you don't know this guy's life. Maybe, maybe he's laughing to keep from crying. I don't know. 
it's just a weird thing to say, right? Acting, do you want him to cry? Like, do you want him to sit in the courtroom and just cry the entire time? Like, I would be saying the same thing if it was Amber Heard, okay? All right? Because people handle things differently, all right? Some people, when they have bad things happen to them, they like to laugh it off and just let it go. And that's what works for them, okay? So you can't judge somebody's victimhood on whether or not they're laughing and smiling because you don't know them. Did Depp, uh, Depp is uh, censored for whatever reason, lose roles because Amber lied about his abuse or did he lose roles because he shows up to set eight to nine hours late under the influence with no memorization of his scripts, assaults crew, plus he was found to be a wife beater in court. Okay. So, these are all alleged. Uh, the assault's crew thing was uh, apparently he got accused of punching a guy that was in the crew of one of his movies uh, twice. He said that he didn't punch him and that he got injured when he was trying to defend himself. And that's why he had injuries on his hand. That case didn't go to court as far as I can find when I was researching for this video. So, I'm just going to assume that it just got dropped um, with no memorization of his scripts showing up to set eight to nine hours late um, honestly that's not even important I, what's important is that what she said was yeah Amber Depp lost roles because Amber lied about his abuse uh, allegedly I mean, you know myself anyway uh, Jeez, that threw me off. Yeah, he lost all of his roles because of the scandal. He lost his pirate stuff because of the scandal, all right? There's a reason Margot Robbie is going to be starring in the next Pirates movie instead of him. There's a reason that he's not Grindelwald, and Grindelwald was played by Mad Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah, yeah. You know, my tongue's getting a little tied in. We're 22 minutes, 20, 22 minute-ish in. Anyway, I'm throwing myself off, so hopefully I'm not throwing anybody else off. We're still here. Anyway, yeah, this was all caused by the scandal and the, the People magazine interview. I think that was the magazine. That's what caused all of <clears throat> Depp's, Depp's loss of roles, all right? That's what led to all of this. All right, now we've got a good one to round us off. Hashtag I stand with Amber Heard said, I do feel moral, morally superior for never fail, falling for Johnny Depp's disinf misinformation. I don't know why I didn't say. Anyway, campaign and will as, for as long as I live. I am better than the rest of you who did and helped him abuse his ex-wife. Hashtag I stand with Amber Heard. First of all, misinformation campaign is really weird. Blame the wrong person for that. Allegedly. However, moral grandstanding is annoying. All right? It's just annoying. I don't want to hear it. All right? Why are you... Why are you acting like you're better than people? Okay? Why... Are you, no, you're not better than the rest of us because you believed one person over the next. Okay? I'm not better than this person because I believe... Believe Johnny Depp over Amber Heard. Okay, I don't even think I, I don't, I don't want to say I'm above anybody, right? Because who am I to say that? Why do you, why do you have such a big inflated ego? I, I don't get it. But yeah, so I just want to talk about all the people who are currently defending Amber Heard. It's getting pretty ridiculous, but I do think that Johnny is going to win this case. Just given on how it looks. Uh, given the support around Johnny Depp and how the court case has looked, I think it's going to be pretty much a shoe in for Johnny. Uh, this will probably be the last time I talk about the case in general, unless something insane happens. Thank you all for watching the video. I really and truly appreciate it. Goodbye.